Good morning. Welcome back to the forecast here. We have rainfall lightly is moving into Watsonville, stretching to the Monterey Peninsula, getting into Castroville as well, getting into Salinas and then eventually right back into Hollister, Prunedale and Aromas. It is very light and we'll pick up as we go along. There is a moisture plume out there that is kind of working its way back to the tropics and slowly but surely we'll see this next system push across and just move all that moisture on shore. And that's where we're talking about Friday into Saturday and uh, the low pressure system of that second cold front will work its way to the north in the Gulf of Alaska. So that won't really affect us too much. Rainfall we're expecting is in some cases uh, near three tenths of an inch, getting into about a half an inch to seven tenths of an inch as we go along. That'll increase tonight too as we have the southerly winds working across, which will be uh, showing a wind advisory in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Diablo Range as well. And we'll see winds up to 35 miles per hour, sustained gusts up to about 55 miles per hour in some cases. King tides are here, so we have high surf also going along. This is in effect until five o'clock uh, Saturday. We're going to see 16 footers out there right now we're already engaged in that and it could only get higher as the king tides will put a little bit more uh, height on those waves. We have coastal flood advisory because of all this all the way down from Santa Cruz back into King City. Uh, I should not say King City, but uh, Big Sur working its way down along the coast. We'll see all that coastal flooding. Urban flooding will be a possibility as we go along with more rainfall accumulation. Today we'll see coastal flooding down trees, power lines, outages, flooding tonight, getting into mudslides and rock slides developing as more of that moisture gets back into our formerly saturated soils. Trees will get knocked down because of the winds gusting along. Scattered showers for Saturday and then flooding is still possible. Urban and small streams will be associated with that as well. You get into your seven day forecast rainfall going into Saturday morning showers through the afternoon. They taper off then we begin to dry out all the way across temperatures getting right back to normal as we go. In fact, we're seeing temperatures currently in the 50s and low 60s right now because of that subtropical.